The battle in Ukraine continues with Russian President Vladimir Putin and his troops bringing more violence to that country. Here in West Virginia, Ukrainians and Russians are coming together to condemn this war. Gina Cadigan with more. We need help. Please uh, stand here and help us. Dozens of people gathered on WVU's campus Monday to show support for Ukraine amid attacks from Russia. Many shared stories of what's happening to their family members who are back in their home country. They are uh, um, hiding in the basements and uh, um, our families from eastern um, city of Kharkiv. So it's been bombed again today. Just today, my parents said that they had to hide for three times during the night because of the shelling. It's, it's an incredible thing to, to hear your mother describe different sounds bombs make. While the nations battle against each other overseas, here in West Virginia, Russian and Ukrainians are showing support for one another. There, there's really no war here with Russians, and we haven't had a single person come out and say that they are thinking otherwise. Protesters say they feel even if West Virginians have no ties to Ukraine, they can still resonate with what they're fighting for. We are freedom-loving people in Ukraine, and we are freedom-loving people in West Virginia. Um, I'm just hoping that um, Ukrainians can have a little bit of what West Virginians have here. And until the battle is over, they will still remain hopeful. I hope the will end soon. In Morgantown, Gina Cadigan, 12 News.